this adventure we're looking at, we sail to Elizabeth Reef, we dive and have friends for dinner in the middle of nowhere. And I head up the mast again. And I think it's naked. This is Elizabeth Reef. We are a day's sail north of Lord Howe. No land, just reef. These are our friends on True Dream and uh, we met them oh, about a week ago at Lord Howe. They sailed over and got here yesterday morning. We sailed over and got here a couple of hours ago. Um, they've been fishing and they've just pulled up over there and uh, going there for dinner tonight for fish curry because they have been very successful fishermen. Um, I'm going to do a kingfish sashimi and uh, the boys tell me they've got some kingfish for us to take home which we are both excited about and nervous because I've got no room in the freezer. What are you doing? We're going to stern anchor. And why stern anchor? To stop us rolling around so the, the current at the moment has got us side onto the wind so we, we rock and roll a little bit. Put our stern anchor and we get rid of all that. You ready? You ready please. The problem is this sucker keeps reading zero and uh, I can tell you, it's not zero wind today. Some of you may have seen me do this before. I'm going to pull the plug. As you can see, water is now coming out. So very quickly, I'm going to pull that out, put this in, so that we can check our uh, little speed gauge and depth sounding machine. actually a surprising amount of pressure on it. Does it look a bit grotty? Not really. Can I check the gauge? It's very weird seeing blue <laughs> water. Oh, you can see the light coming through. Oh, I think I've now got one coming. Sounds like water. Teaspoon. Do you want me to dab your brow? <laughs> oh, it's a bit damp actually. <laughs> it's so disconcerting seeing light from under the boat coming through a hole that round and water pouring upwards. And you have to put these in, I'm going to put this back on, which has come off, but they actually have to go in a specific direction. So, I don't know if you can see that arrow. But you're slightly out and it doesn't want to go in. Done that and not solved the problem. So our uh, port bilge, which we just put water in, uh, trying to change over the, the plugs, the actual pump makes a lot of noise. It's not actually getting any water out. So this is the manual pump, which you need to prime to get all the air out of it. There we go. And then we manually, manually, pump the water out of the bilge at the moment. When we get to New Cow, we're buying another bilge pump. Could you place that one down there? Ironically, that one doesn't work, and that's the bilge that always has a bit of water in it. Uh, the starboard one, dry as bone. That bilge pump works beautifully. Uh, we just got a call from our friends on Pinnacle, so it's Aaron, who's got the Pro Dive uh, dive shop on Lord Howe Island, so he's up here with some friends on their dive boat. And so we're going to head round to the outside of Elizabeth Reef, just on the other side, where there's a shipwreck and do some diving with them. And then our friends on a catamaran called Two Dream, uh, they've just caught a whole lot of fish, so we're going to cook up, uh, well Denise is going to cook up, a beautiful... <laughs> Jamie's going to be heavily assisting this afternoon. A really nice Sri Lankan curry for everyone this evening. And we're going to go and do some dives on the outside of the reef and uh, see what we can find. Rolling waves into the reef. Beautiful soft swell out here. And over there, that boat up there, 
That is two dream. They are very kindly catching more fish for us today. Legends. That is 30, 30 metres of water. With the wind gauge still not working, it was time to head up the mast. And while I was up there, I needed to replace a shackle on the main hatch. I'll just clip on around the mast. A mast is 15 metres high, or approximately 50 feet. So it's not for the faint hearted. When Aaron came by, he wondered what the hell we were doing. Attempting some repairs. Okay, stop! As you can imagine, the slightest wave has a massive pendulum effect on the top of the mast. Okay. So, let's have a look here. Because I wasn't sure exactly what size shackle I needed, I brought every single one I had with me. I need to go up two inches. Because the main halyard was supporting my weight, I had to swap over to the spinnaker halyard. And stop. Okay, I need the yellow to take my weight. I'll wait here. Yep, if you can ease the red down really slowly. Yep, more red. Okay. Once installed, I put some stainless steel wire around the shackle so it can't come under. An anometer time. Then I think it's knackered. No direction, but no speed. Yeah. How about now? <laughs> Sorry, that that was a joke. I'm holding it. And then it was time to come down. Okay. Yep, and now we can come down on red and yellow. All the way to the bottom. Okay, stop. We jumped on the dive boat with the boys and went off for an exploration dive.
pulled through of the drain. Are they in order or not sure? Uh, yeah, that's yes, right. no. <laughs> It's like a wave. It starts at the top and then goes down to the top. <laughs> and then we've got the Fruit Eye Friends. Daddy. Hi guys. All having a decent curry. Is it, is it actually a decent curry? Let's ask the chef. Delicious. Well, I go and fill the dive tanks for the dive operator. So I mentioned that I was filling tanks. I wasn't kidding. Here is our dive compressor, and I filled three, I've got two more to go. While three of the guys had to camp out on watch on the dive boat, two of them got to stay on board with us Whoa. and had a really good night's sleep. <laughs> Thanks guys. See ya. Have a great day. We're clearing the uh, outer reef of the lagoon for Elizabeth Lagoon, and we are off to Norfolk Island. Morning. Morning. Uh, a little bit overcast this morning, but the winds are going to be favourable, so with a bit of luck, we, um, we can make some really good time and maybe cut a five day trip down to as low as three days, something like that. Are you just going to try and pull? I always just try and pull to start okay. with. Tight. Some idiot hadn't taken the brake off the reefing line. Jamie. On the next adventure with Looking View, we refuel in Norfolk Island and then head on to Mumia, only to be becalmed, followed by heavy weather, followed by really rough weather, and the boat starts cracking up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends.